the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge headed out for their final day in the Bahamas and the final day of their week-long Caribbean tour after attending a glittering reception on Friday night. The Day Star Evangelical Church, which was damaged by Hurricane Dorian, has welcomed Prince William and Catherine. In September 2019, a hurricane damaged sections of the Bahamas and inhabitants are still struggling to repair their houses over two years later. Aboko, a group of islands in the northern Bahamas, was one of the hardest impacted areas of the Bahamas, with 185 miles per hour winds during the hurricane. 75% of dwellings on the islands were damaged and there were terrible deaths. Catherine was dressed in a pink print shirt dress and strappy wedges as she arrived at the church on Saturday. The mother of three wore her hair in her usual loose curls to complete the look. Meanwhile, her husband William wore a blue opened collar shirt coupled with a navy blue suit. During their visit at the church, Catherine and William met with people and families from across the communities to hear firsthand what it was like to be on the island at the point the hurricane hit and how people have come together to support each other during an incredibly difficult time. The royal couple then went on to visit a memorial to pay tribute to those who lost their lives as a result of the natural disaster. It comes as Prince William delivered a speech in which he said he insisted that any decision by Jamaica, Belize and the Bahamas to break away from British monarchy and become republics will be supported with pride and respect. In a landmark speech alongside his wife, Catherine, at a glittering state reception. Later in the day, the Duke and Duchess will travel to Grand Bahama Island to meet with one of William's Earthshot Prize winners, Coral Vita, and see their groundbreaking ideas for restoring and preserving reefs. Their Royal Highnesses will first pay a visit to the Grand Bahama Children's Home, which provides a safe haven for children who are unable to live with their families. The Duke and Duchess will spend time with the kids and learn from the staff about how they create a safe and secure environment for the island's most vulnerable children. As their final stop on their week-long journey, they'll pay a visit to Coral Vita, the winner of the 2021 Earthshot Prize. Sam Tyson co-founder of Coral Vita, will offer William and Catherine a tour of the company's headquarters on Grand Bahama. They'll get a first-hand look at how coral is grown and learn more about Coral Vita's ambitious plans to protect fragile ecosystems around the world, which are being supported and scaled thanks to the Earthshot Prize assistance.